I'm hungry and I want to share some wicked exciting recipe developments I've been working on or thinking about. I was recently watching J. Kenji Lopez Alt making a Chicago thin crust pizza with a spicy ground sausage. It looked delicious and it got me thinking, can I make that sausage vegan and healthier? And that's what we're going to create. I one of my favorite whole foods ingredients that is just as delicious with no harm done and you can use on pizzas, quiches, whatever you can imagine. To address the peanut gallery that can't think outside the box, I didn't become a vegan because I didn't like the taste of meat. I don't eat meat because I don't believe in harming animals when we have so many other options. I wouldn't dare think of eating Frankie Miss America and that translates to all animals. I put the fresh grown lion's mane mushroom that I grew from myself from a kit I got from Marvelous Mushrooms here in the UK out to sun to absorb some added vitamin D. I'll include a code in the description for a discount if you want to give it a try. First, we're going to start with toasting and grounding some of these aromatic spices like fennel seeds, coriander seeds, black peppercorns, and dried bird's eye chilies. These spices will infuse our dish with an incredible depth of flavor found predominantly in most spicy sausages. A couple hot tips on the bird's eye chilies. You toast them first in the hot pan and then let them bloom in some boiling water for a couple minutes. It just brings it alive, ignites it. For the garlic, same thing. Leave the skin on, toast it in the hot cast iron skillet, and it makes it super easy to peel and also mashes much easier, along with removing that sharp bite it usually has. It smells delicious. I'm gonna add what I've ground into a bowl and I'm gonna start adding some of the other spices. So I add beetroot for color, a little bit of smoked paprika for that flavor, a little bit of red wine instead of vinegar. I'm also adding a touch of sugar and then some boiling water to help it all bloom. Mix it together and let it sit for a minute. And let all those flavors balance each other out. This is gonna be our marinade. Next, we're gonna be taking our majestic lion's mane mushroom and we're gonna shred it and chop it both methods. This will create a mixture with different textures. Since we're not grinding it as they would do with animals, I believe the shred and chop will work great considering the texture of the lion's mane. We'll add it right to the freshly ground spice marinade mixture and let it soak up all those delicious flavors. Now for all you chefs and food developers out there that want to try to do this, I definitely encourage you to do this and try to get it into a product and, and commercialize it. It'd be amazing to have an option like this. I've learned working with the beetroot powder or beetroot juice, if you leave it out, it oxidizes, it turns brown. So I'm gonna squeeze out that liquid that sat probably five minutes, squeeze out the liquid, make this mixture that looks like ground beef, I'm gonna add oil, so this is the fat. There's no fat at all in that mushrooms, and I want that mouthfeel and texture, so there's oil in this. A little bit of salt, mix it up, and then I'm gonna cover it with paper towel just to finish the rest of the dish that we're gonna be putting it on. We're gonna be making a makeshift eggless quiche using tofu. There's your protein for all that protein peanut gallery out there. A little bit of mayo for that mouthfeel and texture. Some turmeric for color, black salt for the eggy flavor, and we're good to go. Make sure it's mixed together so all the flavors meld together. And I don't think this is yellow enough, so I'm gonna add a little bit more turmeric just to give it that eggy color, and I'll touch more black pepper. Black pepper and turmeric, I hear, goes super well together. And there's the beauty, Miss Frankie. For the puff pastry here in the UK, by default, they're vegan. All I'm gonna do is crimp the edges, press them down with the fork to help them stick down and also give it a little bit of appealing look. And I'm adding cheese. There's a smoked shredded vegan cheese that's really good here in the market. It's called Applewood and I'm gonna be using that, mixing it right in. And of course, I have to pay the cheese tax. And I'm preheating the oven to 200 degrees Celsius. That's 400 degrees Fahrenheit convection or fan for my U.S. friends. And then we're going to add the filling right to the middle. Spread it out evenly. It should stand about a centimeter or a little bit more higher when you spread it out. And we're on to the delicious sausage made from lion's mane. So I'm just gonna compact it into little balls 
and place it evenly across the whole quiche, we'll call it. And then a half and add about a half a dozen cherry tomatoes. And I know onion pairs super well with any kind of sausage. So I'm gonna be adding some little crescent onions to this. And it's starting to take shape. It looks great, but it needs a bit of color. It needs some green. So I have some pickled jalapenos in there. I'll add a few of those. Also, I'm a huge fan of spicy, so Spicy sausage, a little bit of jalapeno. This is gonna be amazing. Last touch, I'm taking some room temperature butter and just rubbing the edges to help with the golden brown and then pop it in the oven. And then I gotta pay attention to Frankie. Hey Frankie, wanna play? Come on. Frankie's been practicing with the ball every day. She's getting so much better at returning it. The 20 minute marker, it's not done yet. I'm just gonna give it another quick turn around three or four minutes and then we're done. If you weren't aware, we wrote a cookbook called The Wicked Healthy Cookbook, filled jam packed with techniques and plant-based options, including the iconic pressing technique, all documented out there. And look at this, it looks amazing. I'm super proud of this. I cannot wait to dig into it. And there you have it, my friends. A spicy pork sausage made with lion's mane mushrooms and a quick tofu quiche. It's a celebration of flavors, textures, and plant-based creativity. I hope you give this recipe a try and let me know how it turns out. Remember, plant-based cooking can be just as exciting and delicious as any other culinary adventure. I hope you stay inspired, keep cooking, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm gonna enjoy this immensely. Frankie, ready?